All right, guys, get excited because today we're talking about food. What should I eat when I'm traveling around Xinjiang? Well, lucky for you, I consider myself a foremost expert on food in this region, or at least I've tried quite a bit of it. <laughs> anyway, here are my 10 recommendations of things that you should at least try when you're traveling around the area. Number one, Uyghur Polo. Now it's very similar to the pilaf that you'll hear about in the rest of Central Asia. It's just the Uyghur take on it and it's delicious. It's got lamb meat, it's got rice, it's got carrots, perhaps it's got raisins or some other things. Give it a try in a few different places. You might find that you'll like one restaurant better than the other, but one thing's for sure, this is probably the number one most liked dish here in Xinjiang. Number two, log mat. There's a Uyghur kind and there's a Hui kind, but the concept's very simple. You get a bowl full of noodles and then you pour just a concoction of meat and vegetables and oil on top of those and eat it together. Very delicious. Number three, kebabs. Kebabs are lamb on a stick. There's really not much to it. Oftentimes it's a meat and a fat and a meat and a fat lamb on a stick, real perfection, using a little bit of spices that includes cumin and some red hot uh, peppers, salt, pepper, all of it just tastes incredibly good. Number four, Uyghur bread, or Uyghur flatbread, also called nang. Uyghur bread is one of those things that you're gonna find in stalls all across the streets where you're walking up and down, and it comes in so many different shapes and sizes. Some of them look like bagels, some of it's flatbread, some of it is, uh, put, they have onions on it, or they have sesame on it. All of it's great. I highly recommend you try to eat some that's directly out of the oven. That, mm, that's really good. Number five, Uyghur ice cream. This is something that on a hot summer day is so good. I just had a cup myself a few minutes ago. Five Kwai, delicious ice cream, really good. Number six, Samza. Samza is a, basically I like to think of it as a grilled hot pocket, all right? It's a Uyghur snack wherein they put a mixture of meat and onions and other things inside this breaded crust that they then bake inside of the same type of oven in which they make Uyghur bread. Number seven, Dapanji. Most people mistakenly think that this is a Uyghur dish when in fact it's a Hui dish. Dapanji literally translates to big plate chicken and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a big chicken that's been cut up, thrown into a plate alongside potatoes and other vegetables and then a nice, rich, thick red sauce that goes great with Uyghur bread and the noodles that come after it. Number eight, stuffed lamb intestine. Now, this is something that I've tried on this YouTube channel before and it's, you know, it was surprising how good it is. It's a rice kind of mixture that's been stuffed into lamb intestines and as weird as that sounds, it's actually really good. It's usually served with sheep lung, which again, sounds disgusting, but it's worth a try. Number nine, matang. This is a nut snack that you'll find a lot of different just street vendors selling on the street or especially in the markets. Uh, it's very popular in inner China, but it's something that you can just get a small bit of or a large chunk of, however much you want to buy, and take it with you as a snack, whether that's on a bus or on a train or just having it back at your hotel room. It's, it's a good, albeit very chewy, snack to eat. Number 10, Xinjiang fruits. Now I realize this isn't an ethnic specialty, but it's something you really need to try. Xinjiang fruits are known all over China as being some of the tastiest fruits that you can buy. Whether it's the turpin grapes, the korla pears, the hami melons, every single area around here has their specialty. Buy a few of them, you'll be surprised at how much you enjoy eating fruits just as a snack on the street. All right, so that's it. Those are my 10 recommendations for the food you should eat. If you think I'm missing something, go ahead and leave it in the comments below or let me know what you think of the things that you have tried. I'd love to hear and I'd love for you to share your opinion with everybody else. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Far West China. Peace out.